Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My very brand new channel here. <laughs> I only have like 27 subscribers right now. And I wanted to go ahead and mention that so I can kind of keep track of where I've been. Um, hopefully things will pick up because I just really love sharing and I have totally gotten into diamond painting lately. Um, if you've already subscribed, you know that I've done a couple of the, um, the BTS cubic paintings and those were actually my very, very first paintings that I've done and I got totally hooked, guys. Uh, so, I was on Instagram the other day and this ad popped up for the Diamond Art Club, um, sort of like a promotion for them. And I've heard so much about them that I decided to give them a try. So this was a special where you could, they said try for free, but of course, you know, once you get in there, they want you to pay for shipping, which is fine. Um, but I also realized that the free paintings were very, very small. So what I did is I've been watching some YouTubers and on diamond painting and I was hearing so much about um, the rendering and how the smaller paintings, you know, come out really pixelated and everything. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'm going to pull them out. I ended up getting all four. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if that was loud. Um, I actually ended up getting all four of the diamond paintings that they were offering at the discount. I think it was four. That, um, you get to choose which ones you want. But I opted for the slightly larger size. So I got the butterfly, which is going to be 32 by 37 centimeters. And it says it has round with AB, the Aurora Borealis diamonds. Um, hmm, I'm wondering why two of them look small and two of them look bigger. Let's see, so this one, oh, you know what? I know I upgraded, so I'm going to have to double check on the sizes because I paid for the bigger sizes on all four. And I need to make sure that that these two, let me see what this size is. Sorry, guys, but well, maybe, yeah, I'm just going to have to double check the sizes because that still seems pretty small to me. It's only going to be 12 and a half by 12 and a half inches which is really small. Were the other ones, were the free ones even smaller than that? 32 by 37, 32 by 32, um, 38 by 47, Th these are centimeters, and 57 by 38. And I can tell this one's a lot heavier. Hmm. And these are all rounds, it looks like. These two say they have ABs in them. Okay, well, let's just open them up and see what we've got. But I really feel like these should have been bigger. Um, because unless the small ones were even smaller than this, because I paid for the upgraded size on all four. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Um, I finally got my taxes done yesterday. I had been putting it off and putting it off. And I finally got to it. 
see what they've got. Oh, wow, those trays are tiny. It's a super tiny tray. I don't know. So, like I said, guys, the only diamond paintings I've done um, were the BTS cubic ones. I'm going to grab really quick. Hang on. I'm going to grab the tray that came with my BTS one. And I'm also going to grab a packet of drills because I just want to compare the sizes. Um, so, these are the drills that come with the butterfly. And as you can see, Now they come in a strip, which I've never had before because I guess I got spoiled when I did the BTS ones because they came in these little baggies and I didn't have to um, put them in any other kind of containers. But this is the drills that came with my cubic paintings. And as you can see, they are exactly the same size and everything which I was curious about. Very nice. And this is, oh, wow, guys, this is my very first Aurora Borealis ever to be seen. <laughs> and now I see what you guys mean when you say that they're so beautiful and sparkly. Look at that. The camera just doesn't do them justice. I mean, the way that the, the lighting from my window is catching that glimmer. Oh, they're beautiful. Those are gorgeous. So, I'm assuming this is a full coverage and not a partial because I see lots of gray drills in here and the stones are gray so that's good because I didn't oh there's the other ones there's the other Aurora Borealis so those are gonna be in the butterfly itself which will be awesome and I just lost my train of thought and forgot what I was gonna say when I saw the other a B drills I was like oh those are so pretty these are the grays and the blacks there's the black the 310 oh and there's a black one in with the blue here what do you guys call those hitchhikers <laughs> As you can see, I've been watching a few YouTube videos on diamond painting. So, yay. And I'm sorry about the crinkling sound, guys, if you um, don't like that. Because that's very, I can tell that's going to be very noisy. Let's take a look at the tools. We won't have to do this on the others because um, they're probably going to be the same. Oh, uh oh. Multi spacer fell out. Okay. Oh, cute. The wax is in the, in the shape of a heart. Those are so cute. And here's a multi-spacer. I've never used this size of multi-spacer before. The most I've used is the um, the one that holds like three drills because I just can't get them straight. Um, oh, now here's some baggies, which is really nice. Yay. There's not enough for all those drills, but you know what? Even though... My cubic paintings came in baggies. They even included extra baggies. So I'm going to pull my extra baggies from my cubic paintings and add those to these. So hopefully I will have enough to put them all into baggies. 
because I, I actually like working from the baggies. I haven't had much problems doing that. I haven't had many problems. Now, here's a comparison. And you can see how much smaller these are. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal, though. When you actually look at it. I do like the spout. That's kind of neat. Mm, kind of more like a funnel, so that'll work. And the squishy will be nice. My other pen, let me grab it so I can show you guys what I've been working with. Oops, sorry, Chi. almost stepped on my dog. So the pink pen is the one that came with the um, cubic paintings. And it feels like it's slightly thicker than the blue one. Just slightly. So the squishy will be nice. Oh yeah, I like how that feels. Squishy. The squishy will be really comfy compared to what I've been using. Nice. Okay, we can get to the painting now. Get in there and look at that. Okay, guys. I have never worked with um, one of these type of canvas before because if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that the cubic paintings... The BTS cubic paintings. Oh, that's soft. They actually come already mounted um, on a wooden board, like on a wooden canvas type thing. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to get the hang of working with one that's been rolled up. Ooh, so I think it might turn out okay. So this, uh, we've got directions, instructions, which I already know pretty much how to do it. It's not going to be that much different. I'm going to try the trick that you guys talk about. Like I said, I'm a total newbie. So, um, oh look, do what makes you sparkle. That's really cute. I think this is what you guys said you're supposed to do to get it to roll. Uh, Chase, no, no, my dog wants to go outside, guys. Oh, I'm probably going to have to pause this video in a minute. I'm going to try this because I've seen you guys do this. So here's the test. To see if it actually works. Hang on just a second. Wait. Okay, I was gonna pause, but Chase, come here, honey. Come here. Come here. Go back to your bed. I don't think we're gonna get through this without him fussing, so I just wanted to see if this actually makes it lay flat. <gasps> and it does. Oh my gosh, you guys, it works. When you fold it the opposite direction and then lay it down again, it stays flat and doesn't try to roll up. I love that. I love that. And then um, I just put lotion on my hands so I'm not going to touch the stickiness, but I can tell that it's the kind um, like I've been working with. It is a poured glue, a poured glue canvas, which I really love, which uh, it's the only thing I've worked with so far. But from what I've heard, these are much better than the other type. Like I said, I've got lotion on my hands, so I don't want to touch the sticky part right now. So yay, and you guys know that those little um, creases are just air bubbles underneath the plastic. Because if you see them here, let's see if this works. 
Guys, I'm trying the tricks that you guys have said to do. All you other YouTubers out there. Yep. If you peel back the plastic and then put it back down, it gets rid of those little river type things that you guys have mentioned. And I'm sure if you're seasoned at doing diamond paintings or if you're already doing the uh, Diamond Art Club diamond paintings, you've probably seen this canvas. But I just wanted to show you some of the um, symbols. And it looks like they're super clear. Here is the legend with the codes and the DMC numbers that you match your drills to. And this one has 19 colors. 19 colors, so that's not bad at all. A nice one to start with. And I think I'm going to just roll it back up in the opposite direction than what it was to try to keep it kind of straight. And we will take a look at the other two that I got. And guys, I just can't wait to get started on these. Yay! What are you guys working on? Are you guys doing uh, Diamond Art Club paintings? Have you done any of the BTS ones? I doubt many of the actual... Um, diamond let's see what am I trying to say I doubt many I'm going to go with a bigger one this time to see if there's a big difference or not but um, what I was going to say is I doubt that many of you have done the BTS ones because those are just um, actually it's a different company they're in Korea and I think all of their paintings, they've got some that aren't, that, that are, you know, regular, um, regular scenes also. And they are all mounted, it looked like. When I went to their website, it looks like they're all mounted on the um, boards, which is really cool. Hmm. I want to see. So even in this one that feels bigger, the little tray is actually smaller than what I've been using. It's the same size as was in that other one. And even the box is really cool, guys. Can you see that? It's, oh, look at that. It's almost like an iridescent. I guess they're all like that, are they? I didn't really notice on the other box, but... Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. It's got like a almost a holographic appearance. <clears throat> now this one is the Four Seasons tree, which oh look at that. It's kind of like a typo. Four season stree. <laughs> stree. That's funny. And the other one was named Wish Granter. I can't remember if I said that. Oh, guys. So, I want to get the painting out and look at it first. Because I thought, oh, yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. Look at that. Now this was probably the one that really caught my eye when I saw it. Because it's got all the different seasons. Look at that. Winter has all the blues in it. This must be fall. And then we have... Is this spring? Spring has like little buds on the tree. And then summer, everything's green 
I think that's probably right. Yay. And we're going to go through these quicker because I've already showed you that rolling them backwards works. And I just want to look at the little symbols really quick here. And they look really, really clear too. I love how they put a white, like the white dot, like if it's a dark symbol, they use white ink or a light color. These actually have colors on them. Yay. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so happy. I can't wait to get started on my first um, Diamond Art Club paintings. So let's go ahead and roll this one back up. Because we're already going a little over 20 minutes and I don't want this video to be too long. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys like looking at the drills, but um, I'm not going to open these just for sake of saving time, but I'm just going to show you how this one came with more than the others. They got the spelling right here, Four Seasons Tree. <laughs> I love that minty color, that mint green. are gorgeous and you know what I might um, do some whipping chaps while I'm working on these and uh, so you guys can kind of watch as I get started on them and we can chit chat and get to know you guys better okay let's take a look at another small one this one is the Rainbow Rose. And it's also going to be a little square. You know, maybe the other ones were super tiny. If these were the upgraded sizes, I can't imagine what the other ones would have looked like. But they must have been like eight by <laughs> five by eight or something. But I don't think I would want to do anything that small, but like I said, I'm going to have to go in and take a look. And I'm assuming everything is the same. Yeah, the small little tray. And I like how they put um, the drills inside. Let's take a look at those really quick. Ooh, there's lots of blues. Rainbow rose. There's that minty green color again. I love that color. It's beautiful. There is some yellow. It looks like there will be a little bit of yellow. And give it a pop. I just love the colors in this rose. Well, let's take a look at the canvas. That just feels so tiny. Guys, that feels so tiny for being the upgraded size. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to double check because I can't even imagine this coming in a smaller size than this. This one actually has 35 colors. Did you see the drills? I mean, drills. <laughs> the symbols. They're super clear, and I like how they're, um, <clears throat> how some of the numbers or letters and symbols are in different colors. The ones I've been working with 
have all black symbols. Like the writing, the printing on all the symbols is black. But these, these are really nice. No, no, Chase. There goes my dog again. Okay, since this one's tiny and it's not badly warped, I'm going to go ahead and just roll it back up the way it was. And we will get to the last one. So my dog scratches at the door because he wants to go outside. Hey, come here, Chase. Come here, Chase. Chase, come here, baby. Come here. Let's wait. I'm on the last one. Come here. You can go out in a little bit. Let Mommy get this last one open, and then I'll let you out, okay? Because I found that when I pause or try to stop my video, um, then I have to, like, upload it to iMovie or something and do a lot of editing. And sometimes my camera runs out of space. <laughs> So it's easier if I can just keep it going and upload it as is, which I'll probably do on this one. I'll probably just upload it unedited so that I can get it up. <clears throat> and if you guys are knitters, I uploaded yesterday... Um, I'm doing a throwback Thursday on Thursday where I upload videos from my previous YouTube channel. I used to have a, a knitting channel and I go by the username of Bay Area Knitter and that was my channel and that's still my Instagram username. It's Bay Area Knitter. Um, but I had gone to, I think it was either Stitches or TNNA. And I met Stephen West, guys. This was a few years ago, and I had posted a little blurb, a little um, chit-chat with him at the convention center. I had posted on my previous YouTube channel. So I went ahead and um, downloaded that, and I uploaded it for Throwback Thursday yesterday. So if you guys like knitting and you like Stephen West, a.k.a. West Knits, go check that out. Because he's so cool. He's such a fun guy. Look at these. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and get these out because these are like some of my favorite colors on this one. Purple is actually my favorite color. And I wanted to show you guys of these drills since this is the last one that we're opening and I th think did this one have a B's in it I'm trying to see here um, maybe not sorry if I look if I got distracted there I was looking I was looking at the boxes My lighting may not be the best right now. Oh, there is a bees in this one. Look at that. I love that color. But like I said, I'm standing in front of my window and the sun is starting to come in. So my lighting may not be the best right now. And I want to get this done before the, before the sun takes over my table. Oh, I really love that color. Wow, this one has a lot. This seems like it has a lot more than the others did. And it's much bigger, so yeah. I'm going to definitely take a look at my receipt and see um, what is going on with these sizes. Oops. Because like I said, all four of them should have been... The larger size. This one is called Soulmates. 
and it's kind of hard to see like it looks really abstract when you look at it like this but once you get the drills on there I think it's gonna be gorgeous these are actually people like little silhouettes of people that are gonna be uh, standing down there let me show you the original picture again can you guys make that out it's very dark like it's night it's like a twilight there we go and you can see little silhouettes of the people standing there against the night sky and I think that's probably the ocean so yeah I think it's going to be really nice once it's done it's just kind of hard to see the um, you know it's hard kind of hard to imagine what it's going to look like right now because it looks like it's also pretty confetti heavy with all those colors all the color changes I don't see any color blocking on this one really at all look at that Wow so this one's gonna take a while this one will take a while but that's what I got it for because I just really find doing these really relaxing and therapeutic do you guys feel the same way? So beautiful. And this one's already laying pretty flat on its own. I didn't have to roll it backwards or anything, did I? I don't think I did. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe because I'm planning to um, do some whip and chats while I work on these. And I have some more unboxings. I have ordered a couple more online. And I also uh, recently purchased some from uh, Michael's, I think. It was Michael's or Joanne's. I bought a wolf and he's gorgeous so I want to share that with you guys next but like I said um, check out my previous videos if you're a knitter because I've got some interviews with some other designers I also design knitwear um, I have a Ravelry account where you can see all of my designs and all of that information is um, in my about me page and you'll find the links also down below in the description so yeah thank you for joining guys and if you haven't gotten your taxes done don't forget about that because like I said I got mine done yesterday yay finally <laughs> finally got that out of the way but I will see you guys in the next video all right take care bye bye